Morning, everyone. Assistant Cincinnati Police Chief Dave Bailey is off the beat and Local 12 is digging for answers. The 31-year veteran signed a separation agreement this morning after being forced out by City Manager Harry Black. This comes a day after a police overtime audit was leaked to the Inquirer. Local 12's Jeff Hirsch broke the story and tonight takes a closer look at the audit and the questionable practices it exposes, Jeff. Well, no reasons were given publicly for why Assistant Chief Bailey was forced out. When the audit was leaked, City Manager Black was furious. There is no public evidence that Dave Bailey had anything to do with the leak, but the audit was done by a police section under his command. However, however the document came out, the audit suggests that the CPD needs some CPR. The audit found significant concerns and or violations of principles, policies, and procedures by a small fraction of employees. The police department spent $7.3 million in overtime last year. The audit says some of that spending comes from manipulations of the labor agreement and management oversight to enhance or maximize financial compensation for some personnel at the detriment of the department budget. The audit cites 19 ethical issues, including inordinate amounts of overtime awarded to selected officers and supervisors. It does not say who, but does list the five top overtime earners among captains, lieutenants, and sergeants. District 5 Commander Bridget Bardewell was tops among captains, more than $82,000 in overtime and comp time. Two of her sergeants, Jason Volkerding and Jason Scott, were tops in that rank, with Volkerding at more than $126,000 and Scott at more than $92,000. That's overtime on top of salary. I thought after the last uh, blow up about overtime, we had instituted oversight procedures to make sure these kinds of apparent large uh, inappropriate overtime uh, dollars uh, were not taking place. $80,000, $90,000, $125,000 in overtime. Can you see any logical way where that kind of overtime can reasonably be justified? No. I mean, on his face, it, that seems very, very curious. City Manager Harry Black and Chief Elliot Isaac have said the audit was leaked before it was finished and needed further review. In a memo, the chief said the audit's tone is unusual for a fact-gathering document. Earlier in the week, Captain Bardua filed a federal complaint alleging sex discrimination and a progressively hostile work environment by three top police leaders, including Assistant Chief Bailey and Captain Jeff Butler, who supervised the audit. Now, according to the audit, Sergeant Volkerding made $126,225 in overtime last year. That's just $20 less than Assistant Chief Bailey's making in salary, administrators do not get overtime. I left a message for Sergeant Volkening and did not hear back. Bailey's settlement agreement puts him on paid administrative leave until he retires. It does not say when that is, but sources indicate it's about two years with a cash and benefit value of around $400,000. Back to you. Jeff, thanks very much. Bailey put a statement uh, to the FOP president, Dan Hills, on Facebook, thanking everyone who has supported him. Bailey says he is confused by his sudden departure, but says this sort of thing happens when, quote, political and police lines become.